hello and welcome back to the Academy of the Magical Art. Please do forgive my stuffy nose today. Um, I just got a little bit of congestion, but that's alright. I was meditating and contemplating last night what I wanted to share. Uh, and had some thoughts about, you know, really discussing our inner beliefs about ourselves. Because what we believe about ourselves and who we believe we are directly influences the manifestations that we create and the, the life that we build for ourselves, the magic that we practice and the energy that we produce. We channel energy through mind. We move it through the filter of thought. We have feeling and we have emotion and that creates charge. It's energy in motion. But we also have thought, which is direction, intention. It is the, the pipe that the energy moves through. So we may consciously desire or think something, but if our unconscious mind is not on the same page, if we don't believe the things that we are producing, if we don't believe we deserve, what it is we are trying to attract. It will never bear fruit. You're not planting your seeds in fertile soil. It is important that the variables line up with each other. And some of the most important of those variables are your beliefs about yourself, which, believe it or not, weren't put there by you necessarily. When you were born, you were a blank slate. You knew nothing. You had a few innate fears. You had a few innate drives. But outside of that, you were blank. You were a child that was exposed to the environment around you, good or bad. And based on the environment that you were exposed to, you learned to accept and healthily receive and give love or not. You learned to be selfless or selfish. You learn to like fish or not like fish. Everything that you are is a product of everything that you learned or have relearned. Some people grab the reins and start doing the work to relearn and unlearn some of the unhealthy programs. And some of us take some time. But understand that your computer is functioning perfectly in accordance with whatever programs are running below the surface. You are working perfectly. It might be destructive, it might be constructive, that isn't for me to say. But all of these programs are subject to change if you know the code. If you know how to dive down and adjust the things that need to be adjusted. Talk to the parts of yourself that need to be talked to and release the things that need to be released. And in doing so, you experience a new freedom and a new power you may never have thought possible. It is important to understand how the mind works consciously and unconsciously, and it's important to understand how to pass that information from one place to another, to either give information to your unconscious or take it out of it. You see, it is the goal of meditation, which is another word for hypnosis, to be able to receive in stillness the messages from the unconscious. We call that passive meditation, sitting in stillness, just listening, just being. And then we have active meditation, visualization, instruction, that's relearning, one way to do it. Understand that the unconscious mind has a few laws. First, it cannot tell the difference between imagination and reality. If I close my eyes and think about an aggressive moment with a bully from the sixth grade or a family member or whatever it might be, my body will react with adrenaline cortisol, norepinephrine, it will want to fight. 
if I close my eyes and I think about an intimate moment, my body will react with testosterone, oxytocin, feel-good chemicals, dopamine, that will produce the chemicals based off of the thoughts that I give it. Whether I direct the thoughts and the body produces the chemicals, or I don't direct the thoughts, the body still produces the chemicals. So what thoughts are being produced determines what chemicals are being produced. It works both ways. A lot of people are told, especially in our current medical system, that it is the chemicals that determine the thoughts. And if you have an imbalance in your chemicals, you take a pill to fix it. Oftentimes, the solution is to fix the thoughts, and the chemicals will fix themselves afterwards. Learn to direct the mind, and the body chemistry will follow. Is it possible? Figure it out. Find out. Experiment. Determine. Some people have great success. Learn to direct your thoughts. Learn to direct your energy. And your manifestations flow much easier. Do it without the resistance of things that were placed there by other people. And they flow even more easily. The gate is through the stillness of the quiet of meditation. Turning the brain down. Going inside. Closing the eyes, listening, and speaking to yourself. I want to thank you once again for joining with me today at the Academy of the Magical Art. And until next time, blessed be.